On our planet, there's a place so deep and remote that it has been visited by fewer people than have walked on the moon. A place darker than night, colder than ice, and more mysterious than the far reaches of outer space. Welcome to the Mariana Trench, the deepest point on Earth, a geological marvel that holds secrets we've only just begun to uncover. The Mariana Trench sits in the western Pacific Ocean, about 124 miles east of the Mariana Islands. But it's not just a trench, it's a scar in the Earth's crust, stretching over 1,550 miles long and plunging nearly seven miles deep at its lowest point, the Challenger Deep. Imagine standing at the peak of Mount Everest, the highest point on Earth. Now flip that mountain upside down and sink it into the ocean. Even then, the summit of Everest would still be over a mile beneath the surface of the water. To comprehend the sheer scale of the trench, we need to go back in time, about 180 million years. As Earth's tectonic plates shifted and collided, the Pacific Plate was forced beneath the smaller Mariana Plate, forming this deep oceanic chasm. Over the centuries, it has become a realm so extreme, so hostile, that humans have only managed to send a handful of expeditions to its depths. But what exactly is down there? What mysteries does this alien world hold? And what could we learn by exploring its vast, crushing darkness? Today, we dive deep far deeper than anyone has ever gone before, into the abyss of the Mariana Trench. Let's start with its unique geological features. Unlike the flat ocean floor we're familiar with, the Mariana Trench is full of steep slopes, deep valleys, and towering underwater cliffs. It's a landscape shaped by immense tectonic forces, constantly shifting and reshaping over time. Down here, the pressure is crushing, literally. At the bottom of the trench, over 36,000 feet below the ocean surface, the pressure is more than 1,000 times greater than what we experience at sea level. It's like having the weight of 50 jumbo jets pressing down on you. And yet, life finds a way to survive in this extreme environment. Even though there's no sunlight this far down, a remarkable variety of organisms have adapted to the harsh conditions. Some use bioluminescence to light up the dark, creating an otherworldly glow in the pitch black depths. Others have evolved specialized body structures that allow them to withstand the crushing pressure. These creatures live in a world so alien that, until recently, we had no idea they even existed. But before we delve into the strange and wonderful life forms that call the trench home, let's take a look at the first human attempts to explore its depths. In 1960, two brave explorers, Jacques Picard and U.S. Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh, descended into the Challenger Deep aboard the Bathyscaphe Trieste. This historic journey took them to a depth of nearly 36,000 feet. Imagine plunging into the darkness, deeper and deeper, as the light fades and the pressure increases with every passing second. It took them five hours to reach the bottom, and when they did, they made a startling discovery. There was life down there. Picard and Walsh spent just 20 minutes on the ocean floor before beginning their long ascent back to the surface. But their brief glimpse into the abyss sparked a fascination that continues to drive deep sea exploration to this day. Fast forward to 2012, when another pioneer, filmmaker James Cameron, made a solo dive to the bottom of Challenger Deep. In a specially designed submersible called Deep Sea Challenger, Cameron reached the depths in less than three hours. He was able to stay on the ocean floor for several hours, capturing high-definition footage and collecting samples. His journey gave us an unprecedented look at the trench's alien landscape. Cameron's descent, however, is just the beginning. There's still so much more to explore and discover. We know that the trench is home to strange, resilient creatures like the snailfish, a transparent, ghostly-looking fish that thrives in the extreme pressures of the deep sea. There are also giant amphipods, shrimp-like crustaceans that can grow up to a foot long. And then there are the xenophyophores, massive single-celled organisms that resemble clumps of sand but can grow to the size of dinner plates. One of the most extraordinary ecosystems found in the trench is around hydrothermal vents. These vents act like underwater geysers, spewing superheated water rich in minerals. Despite the extreme conditions, life flourishes here. Entire communities of organisms live off the chemicals emitted from the vents, a process known as chemosynthesis, an alternative to photosynthesis that doesn't rely on sunlight. These creatures are among the oldest and most primitive forms of life on Earth, providing a glimpse into how life may have first evolved billions of years ago. 
but the trench holds more than just biological wonders. There are also remarkable geological features, such as mud volcanoes and serpentine formations. These are areas where the Earth's mantle is exposed, providing scientists with clues about the planet's inner workings. The Mariana Trench may even hold answers to some of the biggest questions about Earth's history, such as how continents formed and how tectonic plates move. In recent years, advanced technology has allowed us to explore the trench in ways that were previously unimaginable. Remotely operated vehicles, or ROVs, have been used to map the trench's floor and collect samples from its deepest points. These robotic explorers can withstand the extreme pressure and send back valuable data to researchers on the surface. And what about the future? As our technology improves, we'll be able to explore even deeper and for longer periods of time. There's even talk of establishing permanent underwater research stations in the trench, where scientists can live and work for months at a time. Such a base would allow us to study the trench's ecosystems in real time and perhaps even uncover new species of life. The Mariana Trench is not just a scientific curiosity, it's a reminder of how little we know about our planet. More than 80% of the world's oceans remain unexplored, and the trench is one of the last frontiers. It's a place where the rules of life are rewritten, where creatures we never imagined thrive, and where the forces that shaped our planet are laid bare. As we continue to explore the trench, we may unlock secrets that could change our understanding of biology, geology, and even the origins of life itself. The Mariana Trench is a window into another world, one that is as alien as any place in our solar system, yet it lies right here on Earth. In the end, the Mariana Trench challenges us to go deeper, to explore further, and to push the boundaries of what we know. And in doing so, we not only learn more about the world beneath the waves, but also about our own potential as explorers, scientists, and dreamers. The journey into the deep has only just begun.